Now we go to the session of trees. Uh, tree is a connected symbol and direct graph. As we said before in the last session, we were um, talking about uh, graphs. And the tree is a, spe is a special type of graphs. So the tree is a connected symbol and directed graph. This is the definition of uh, tree. So it should be connected, should be symbol, no loops, no multigraphs, and should be undirected. Graph with no symbol circuits. Properties. This is how we can know that the given graph is a tree or not. There is a unique symbol path between any two of its vertices. There should be a path between any two of the vertices. No loops and no multiple edges and should be connected. Don't forget this. Should be connected. Example. This graph is a tree. Why? Because there is a path between every two uh, vertices and uh, it's connected and there is no loops and there is no multi graphs this graph is a tree because it's connected this is one with no symbol circuits this is two let's take this example this example is not a tree and you can guess simply because there is um, uh, circles this is one there's cycles and also um, it's connected so connected yes but it has cycles uh, this is an example of cycle a b e d a a go from a to b then e then d then a this is a circuit example this is not a tree and um, also obviously it's true because um, it's disconnected this is not connected we have two components the first component is a and f and the second component is c e d c e b d an undirected graph without simple circuits is called forest you can think of it as set of trees so forest is a expression to uh, describe set of three having disjoint sets of nodes now let's go to directed rooted directed trees rooted directed trees rooted tree is a tree in which one node has been designated the root and every edge is directed away from the root this is what we mean by rooted tree root tree when we select one of the vertices and put it as a root and everything goes from this um, root you should know the following terms about rooted tree now when we talk about trees or rooted trees we must know these terms. The first one is root, parent, child, siblings, ancestors, descendant, leaf, internal nodes, and subtree. We will um, explain all of them using example now. Let's look at this example. This is a rooted tree, and the root obviously is A. This is the root. Uh, uh, root, the definition of root is a vertex with n degree equals 0 because directed n degree of a is 0 so if the n degree is 0 this node will be the root now let's take the definition of parent parent vertex u is parent such that there is a directed edge from u to v b is parent of g and f now our example b is parent of f and g this is uh, a parent. C is parent of E. D uh, is parent of uh, no children. There is no children under D. So D is not a parent. But A is parent of B, C and D. So if there is a, a directed edge from U to V, U is a parent of V. Now the child, if U is parent of V, then V is child of U. Example, now our example, B is child of A, C is child of A, D is child of A, F is child of B, G is 
child of B. E is child of C. And you can continue with this. This is the definition of child. Siblings, vertices with the same parent. Now, for example, B, C, and D are siblings. Why? Because they have the same parent. The same parent is A. F and G also are siblings because they have the same parent. So siblings, يعني إذا كان إلهم نفس الأب منسميهم siblings. And sisters, vertices in both from root to vertex V, excluding V itself, including the root. Let's take an example. Let's say, what are the ancestors of F? All parents of F until we reach the root. So, B is parent of F, and B and A is parent of B. Then the ancestors of F are A and B. The ancestors of Y, F, B, A. The ancestors of E, C and A. The ancestor of D is only A. Now, for example, ancestors of G are B and A. Ancestors of G, B and A. This is the definition of ancestor. Descending is the contrary of uh, ancestor. Descendants are uh, all vertices that have V as ancestor. Uh, descendants of V, let's take example B. The ancestors of uh, the descendants of B are F and Y and G. F, Y, and G. Leaf, the leaf is vertex with no children. In our example, Y is a leaf because it has no children. Also G, E, and D. All of them are leaves. All of them are leaves. Uh, internal vertices, vertices that have children. Any uh, vertex ha that um, have children is called internal uh, vertex. Now, our example, A is internal vertex, B, C, and F. All of them. Subtree, it's a part of the uh, tree. We call it subtree. We take V and all descendants of V. Uh, subgraph consisting of V and its descendants. And their incident edges. Subtree of root, rooted at B. This is, in our example, this part is subtree. This part is subtree. Um, this part is subtree. These are subtrees. Level of V. The level of V is the length of unique path from root to V. So level of root is equal zero because um, the length of uh, root and itself is zero. Level of B in our example is one. Level of G is two. Let's see it in, uh, in the graph. This is the distance between B and root is 1. So the level of B is 1. Level of F is 2. Why? Because the distance between F and A is 2. This is 1. This is 2. The level of Y is 3. Why? Because we have 1, 2, 3 until we reach the roots. This is the level. And the height is the maximum level. So the height of this tree is 3. Because the maximum level is 3. 1, 2, 3. This is the maximum level. Uh, height is the maximum of vertices level, which is equal 3 in our example. M array trees is um, a rooted tree called M array if every internal vertex has no more than M childs. يعني إذا في كل عنصر إله أولاد ما عنده عدد أكبر من M children. A full M array tree بكون full M array إذا كان كل internal vertex إله M children. خلينا نأخذ example. Two array trees called binary tree. خلينا نأخذ ده example. هذا is a full binary tree. ليش؟ لأنه هذا internal vertex كم واحد عنده اثنين. هذا internal vertex عنده اثنين. هذا internal vertex عنده اثنين. هذا full 3 array ليش؟ لأنه هذا internal vertex عنده 1 2 3 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 هذا اسمه full هلا إذا كان هذا مش موجود 
بكون اسمه 3 اري 3 من غير فل بتشيل فل لانه بكون عنده اثنين اذا كان أربعة بتبطل هاي فل اري بتصير أربعة اري 3 أربعة اري 3 اري 3 order rooted tree rooted tree where the children of each internal node are ordered In ordered binary tree, we can define left child to right child, left subtree, right subtree. For M array tree with M أكبر من اثنين, we can use terms like leftmost and rightmost. طيب نأخذ example. هاي إذا كان عندنا left subtree of G اللي هو هذا وكان عندنا right subtree of جي هذا اسمه رايت سب تري وهذا اسمه ليفت سب تري هذا اسمه ليفت تشايلد الاتش لحاله والجي اسمه رايت تشايلد سو للجي نفسها في عندنا ليفت سب تري وعندنا رايت سب تري وعندنا ليفت تشايلد ورايت تشايلد اي ويل ليف ذيس رولز فور يو تو تشيك ايم نوت جوينغ تو توك اباوت ذيم بت يو كان Uh, apply them on the tree and find that all of them are true. Balance tree. A rooted and married tree of height h is balanced if all leaves are at level h and h minus 1. We call it balanced if all leaves are at level h or level h minus 1. This is balanced because the leaves are all at level h. اللي هو ثلاثة برضو هاي بالانس لانه الليفس موجودين ب اتش وموجودين ب اتش ناقص واحد اللي هو بثلاثة وباثنين هاي مش بالانس لانه في ليفس في ثلاثة وفي ليفس في واحد سو so هاي مش بالانس تري ترافيرسل هذا موضوع مهم this is very important subject out how we can traverse the tree we have three types of traversals Pre-order, in order, and post-order, and uh, they are related to infix, prefix, and postfix notations. Now, we start with uh, describing how we can traverse um, uh, trees using pre-order, in order, and post-order. You have to remember that. This you, you have to remember these uh, rules. If you can't remember them, then you will not try. You will not be able to. Solve questions, or you will not be able to traverse tree using any of them. Remember, pre-order start with the root, then goes left, then goes right. This is pre-order. Root, left, right. Whenever we reach root, في أي مكان نوصل فيه للroot منكون إحنا زرنا. لما نوصل للroot منكون زرنا هذا ال ال vertex. تذكر هذا دائما. In order starts from left. بعدين بروح على الروت بعدين بروح على الرايت البري اوردر بروح ليفت بعدين رايت بعدين روت هلا من الاكزامبل ببين معنا نبدا بالاكزامبل هلا ناخذ اول شيء البري اوردر البري اوردر دائما بيبدا بالروت هاي الروت سو هاي الروت بيبدا من ايه سو اول وحده راح يروح عليها هي ايه بعدين بروح وين ما عندك بروح روت بعدين وين بروح بروح ليفت اذا انا خلصت من الروت بروح ليفت رحت ليفت لقيت ايش روت فبحط بي بعدين بروح ليفت بلاقي روت بحط اي دائما من الروت بروح ليفت بلاقي روت فبحط جي هلا ما في ليفت و فبيجي دور مين الرايت ما في رايت برجع بلاقي هون في رايت فباخذ الروت اللي هو كي بعدين بروح ليفت ان بعدين ما بلاقي شيء برجع بروح رايت او بي فاذا اي بي اي جي كي ان او بي هلا بس اخلص من هون برجع وبرجع على الاي ما بلاقي خلصت برجع على البي بكون خلصت الروت والليفت بروح على وين على الرايت فبلاقي اف هلا برجع على الاي بكون خلصت كل الليفت تاع الاي هذا اللفت كله انا انتهيت منه فهلا بروح وين؟ اخذت روت اخذت ليفت بروح وين؟ رايت فبلاقي سي فبحط سي سي ما لها شيء برجع برضه بضل عندي رايت فباخذ دي في الدي هلا في عنده ليفت ورايت ورايت فبروح ليفت باخذ الجي بعدين باخذ ال ال بعدين برجع باخذ الرايت 
الرايت الرايت بيطلع معي اخر اشي دي جي ال ام اتش واي هلا نمحي هاي وناخد الان اوردر الان اوردر بروح ليفت فانا موجود هون ما بروح على الروت بروح ليفت فبروح على البي البي الها ليفت نعم بروح على الليفت الاي الها ليفت نعم بروح هاي الها ليفت لا اذا برجع على الروت اذا بلاقي جي فاول وحده بتكون جي في البري في الان اوردر هلا بعد الليفت بياخذ الروت اخذنا الروت بعدين بياخذ الرايت ما الها رايت برجع بلاقي روت وخلص من الليفت بياخذ الاي هلا بعد ما ياخذ الروت بياخذ رايت في رايت الرايت في له ليفت فما بياخذ الكي بياخذ الان بعدين برجع بياخذ الكي فصار الترتيب ا ان راح اكتب الترتيب اول واحد هذا واحد بعدين برجع بياخذ هذا بعدين برجع بياخذ الثلاثة بعدين بياخذ هاي بعدين هاي بعدين ال بي اللي هي ستة برجع على هاي بلاقي هاي سبعة لانه خلص الليفت بياخذ الروت بعدين بياخذ الرايت هاي تمانية خلص برجع ياخذ الروت اذا بعد البي شو راح يكون فيه اف بعدين اي اللي هي تسعة بعدين بياخد هاي عشرة بعدين بيجي هون ما بياخد هاي بضل يمشي لما يلاقي هاي اللي هي ال هاي احداش هاي اتناش تلتاش اربعتاش خمستاش ستاش هاي الترقيم تاعه بالترتيب كيف بمر عليهم هلا برضه نمحيها وناخد ال بوست اوردر تذكر البوست اوردر بروح ليفت فحيمشي لاقي هاي فاذا هاي رقم واحد بس المره ما بروح روت بروح رايت يعني هذه خلص منها بيجي هون هون للرايت بلاقي في ليفت فبيجي على هاي فهاي اثنين هلا برجع ما بروح على الروت بروح على ثلاثة أربعة فبكون عنده جي ان او بي بعدين برجع على الروت هلا بيجي دور الروت خمسة بعدين برجع على الروت خمسة ستة هلا هاي خلص الليفت تاع البي بروح على الرايت اذا هاي آه سبعة بعدين بروح على الروت ثمانية خلص من الليفت تاع الاي بروح على الرايت تسعة خلص من الرايت هذا بروح على الرايت هذا بس هذا له ليفت فبروح وين بعد السي حيروح على ال ال انها هي الليفت بعدين 11 بعدين 12 بعدين 13 بعدين 14 بعدين 15 بعدين 16 هذا هو الترتيب آه البوست اوردر هلا بنقدر نعمل احنا اكسبريشنز كيف ممكن نرسم هاي هذا الاكسبريشن نحوله الى شجره بنبدا دائما من اللي جوا وي ستارت وذ بارانثيسيز سو ذا فيرست thing to draw is the uh, content of parentheses the operator will be a node and the operands will be child children's so we start with um, expression inside parentheses and we start from bottom going to up so this will be x then y after that we put edges and at the root will be the plus the second thing to start with is also the expression inside parentheses so we put x and 4 and connect them by the operator minus and now all this expression is multiplied by 2 so we put multiply and 2 this is related to plus and all of this is connected to division of 3 and then the last one is plus Uh, of course, the benefit of 
drawing this expression is to convert it into prefix or postfix notation. What we have here is the infix notation, and the problem of infix notation is uh, that it's um, uh, uh, ambiguous. Without these parentheses, we can specify um, the uh, precedence of or uh, the priority of these uh, uh, operators. For example, what to do first, x plus y or y multiply 2. According to math, we might use precedence uh, or priority rules. For example, multiplication comes before uh, addition. But we can specify this in infix notation unless we used parentheses. The other two notations, uh, which are prefix and postfix, are uh, unambiguous, which means that we don't need uh, parentheses. Uh, the procedure is as follows. You draw the tree that represents the expression, and after that, you use a pre order traversal to get the postfix notation, or you use the uh, post order traversal to get the postfix notation. Let's use pre order. Remember, pre order starts with root, then goes left then goes right. So in our notation, in our uh, tree, if we traverse it using uh, pre-order, it will be plus, this is the first thing, root, then go left, find root, two, fi then go left, find root, three, then go left, find root, four. After that there is no left, we go to the right. So this is five, this is 6, this is 7, 8, 9, 10, and finally 11. The result is a plus star plus x, y, 2, division minus x, 4, and uh, 3. Postfix notation, we use... Uh, post order traversal I'm going to change the color and in post fix we go left right then root so the first one is X then Y then root then right then root this left has ended now we go right right we find root then go left left then this is six seven eight nine ten and then eleven so we get prefix and postfix now how we can evaluate these expressions how we can evaluate these expression now let's start with the prefix prefix starts from the right going to left so we start we found four we go ra we go left we find three we go left we find two we go left we keep going left until we reach an operator and this operator is uh, the power so this is a binary operator, it takes two arguments, two and three. So we find two to the power three and put instead of all of the three uh, arguments, we put the value of them, which is eight. The new expression will be four, eight, division, five, three, two, and on. Go on. Then we start from left, uh, from right, going left until we reach an operator. This is a division and it takes two arguments, 8 over 4. The result is 2. So we remove all of this and put instead of it 2. This is 8. So the new expression is 2, 5, 3, 2. We reached an operator. We take two arguments because multiply takes 2. So 3 multiply 2 is 6. The next expression is 2, 5, 6, minus a plus. 
now we go to minus it takes 2 6 minus 5 is 1 then we find 2 1 and plus 1 plus 2 is 3 and the expression is uh, finished the result is 3 in post fix we start from left to right and do the same so 7 2 3 we found multiplication we take these and we put the value of them which is 6 the new expression is 7 6 minus when what we find minus we take the two arguments 7 minus 6 equal 1 the result is 1 4 to the power 9 when we find to the power we take these and the result is 1 to the power 4 which is 1 1 9 this is the new expression then we take 9 and 3 when we found this we take two arguments 9 and 3 9 over 3 is 3 the result is 1 3 plus 1 plus 3 is equal 4 the result is 4 thank you for watching this video and I hope you get benefit of it